Thank you very much for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button in the bottom right of the video. Uh, this video is uh, for the VWT Guan check engine light code number P0299. That's right. It's basically the turbo diverter uh, valve error code. Basically, either your turbo is going bad or your turbo diverter valve is going bad. So, uh, I just pull it out from my car. Uh, it's gonna look like this. So if you have a 2013 uh, VW Tiguan, this is how it looks like. Basically, I'll show you uh, after this video where it is located. Uh, you you just need the letter L uh, wrench to get it out. Um, yeah, I mean I have like the whole collection. I will show it to you which letter L wrench that you need uh, when I made the video on how to install this one but uh, right now this is how it looks like and make sure get the proper part code uh, I don't know if you can see it uh, here this is uh, you can pause the video if you want to look at it can you guys take a look at it uh, basically just a screen capture this one and bring it to the dealer or make sure when you buy it online this is still the genuine uh, Audi and uh, VW uh, turbo diverter uh, valve so yeah this is how it looks like basically this thing is located uh, behind the oil pan is above behind that above the oil pan it's not that hard I thought it was gonna be hard to remove it it's super easy uh, I, I want to teach you how to remove the VW Tiguan uh, matte flap because if you want to learn how to remove the matte flap uh, please watch my VW Tiguan how to change uh, oil yeah video so yeah the oil change video on my VWT one uh, watch that if you have you don't know how to uh, remove the matte flap on the VWT one but anyway I thought I was gonna have hard time removing this uh, this thing is broken I'm gonna make video number three uh, after I come back from the dealer uh, the dealership is nearby here so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a new one but yeah uh, after this video I'm gonna show you where it is located and this is how it looks again uh, that's where the power you just need there is a okay what happened is to un to unplug the power from the turbo diverter uh, plug you need to insert screwdriver on the top like a small one and then pry it out a little bit the the tab like that one and then it will the power uh, cable will just disconnect so anyway yeah you cannot use hand I mean my hand is too weak I have to pry it out using a small screwdriver to remove the power from to disconnect the power from the turbo diverter valve yeah this one is going bad so I need to get a new one anyway love you guys thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and after this video I'm gonna be back I'm gonna show it to you uh, where it is uh, in your car so in you know it's very easy it's connected to the turbo uh, on the right side and there are three screws that, 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 that are holding it see one, two, three. You just have to unscrew it using a letter L uh, wrench. That's right. Letter L wrench, you know. You've seen it all the time. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, which size? Well, uh, I'll show it to you uh, on my next video, part number three, uh, where I'm going to teach you how to install the uh, turbo diverter valve. Anyway, love you guys. Uh, I'll be back. There you go. I'm back. Basically, uh, the turbo diverter valve. Uh, it's located right there as you can see where my finger is it's right over here see that that's the there's electric, electrical connection there that you need to unplug and basically to find it this is our this is the oil pan that's the oil drain plug you just go back there and voila see where, where my finger is that's the turbo diverter uh, plug basically in this video I just want to show you where it is so you guys know where basically know where it's located uh, I'm not gonna do the work today I'm just gonna uh, wait for the part to come so and then I will uh, create video number three anyway uh, it's a real easy job uh, this is just want to give you guys an idea where it is uh, basically before you're panicking about uh, what do you call that getting another turbo uh, check the turbo diverter valve or the turbo cutoff valve uh, and replace it if it clear the code that means you're good to go you know you don't have to buy a new turbo uh, this car is still under 
warranty but the, I'm just gonna do it myself uh, since I'm gonna show you guys how to do it you know might as well teach you guys how to do it so you guys this is gonna cost at least a thousand dollar if you take it to the dealer thousand two hundred uh, it's not that hard you just have to remove the mud guard find where it is and find the proper tool there are three screws that's holding the turbo diverter valve right there so unplug this one remove it plug the new one back in and plug the electrical connector back and you're good to go this is basically the tool that you need to put the uh, the turbo diverter valve together is the latter L wrench I bought this whole set for $3.99 yes $3.99 can you believe it at Harbor Freight Tools basically it's the 316 uh, uh, right there it's really dark right now but yeah the 316 uh, size that one letter L basically there will be three screws is the turbo diverter valve is gonna be pointing down here so uh, the hardest part will be the screws on the top that one right there so what you want to do is you guide this thing uh, hold on uh, I only have one hand here so you guide it like that first and you screw it the top part what happened is you can't really see the top part you kind of have uh, to use your feeling to find the hole and then once it's clicked and then uh, that's it uh, you can put the rest of the screws uh, it depends really I'm not forcing you what, or to tell you what to do uh, it's really what you feel best on how to install this and don't like this video just because how you do it is different I, w I was gonna use this one but it's too big and it's too tight uh, if you decide to use this tool it's the star bit key uh, t30 this will fit too on the but it's just uh, it's too tight the I didn't have enough space to fit this thing I tried to use my uh, you know like the the one that is bendable but still I, I w wasn't able to do it so yeah with the letter L key wrench the 316 size is doing the same thing you know you can actually uh, put this thing back together anyway uh, I, I'm in my garage right now like as you can see it's, it's really dark it's sunny outside but this is the wonderful thing about having a garage uh, basically you can do it outside if you want but yeah my car is in the garage right now so uh, it's gonna be a little bit dark when I install this thing so make sure you guys like the video you know uh, like I said I'm not forcing you to do anything uh, basically you can do your own technique and don't just dislike the video I've seen some people just criticizing look I don't have to do this video but since I like you I love you guys so much I'm trying to teach you what to do to save you guys some money instead of you know uh, you guys taking it to the dealer and being charged like thousands of dollars for simple uh, maintenance like this this is the old one and this is the new one that's the part number six zero H one four five seven one zero C is a ventil uh, basically a valve so it's made in Germany and you know some of you uh, probably argue with me how come you spend 171 because this is the one the original genuine part from Germany uh, there are some Chinese part out there for $69 it's really up to you it's your car but don't dislike my video just because you disagree with me uh, you know that I pay 171 for a genuine part I mean you can it's your car you can buy the online version for $69 from China but look I, I would rather uh, get a genuine part from the dealer and bring it home and make sure they check it with this, the correct fitment then you know the thing is if you buy it online and it's the wrong fitment man you're gonna have a lot of hassle like going back and forth with the seller I mean good thing if the seller is nice you know if the seller is not nice you're gonna have hard time you know uh, returning it like shipping it back and oh my goodness a lot of hassle what I did I just drove to the dealer and get the parts and go home you know anyway uh, I'm gonna turn this video off and I'm gonna go to my garage and install this thing it's gonna be really dark I just want to warn you guys thank you guys love you uh, this is basically where the turbo diverters files gonna go it's right there and uh, it's really tight and it's really that's the turbo diverter valve uh, power plug and uh, what you need to do you just have to um, bring the new parts this one here and let me see yep and just like that the power remember the power uh, plug is pointing down 
and I changed my mind. Um, why don't you put the the bottom screw, bottom two screw, first to hold this thing, and then put the last one in the back last. Uh, do whatever it is uh, to make your life easier. It depends. I know everybody's technique is different. So please don't like the, the don't don't dislike the video just because I'm doing it differently. Uh, I'm not forcing you guys to do anything. I'm doing this video just to help you guys save some money so you can do uh, you know this easy maintenance yourself. And yeah, this is uh, how you do it. Basically, you just plug it in and then screw everything back in and plug the power back and voila and we're gonna reset the check engine light using obd2 scanner so anyway i'm gonna put the camera down and put it's really hard to do this with one hand because i'm all by myself right now and it's really really dark right now so here we go oh hold on sorry i'm gonna have to put the camera down here uh, if i have spot i guess not so i'm just gonna put it down here uh, sorry guys yeah, just put up, bear with me. So, this is a DIY, that's why it's called DIY because uh, we're not really professional, we're just car enthusiasts who just want to do our own uh, maintenance. I'm an IT guy, so to do this is like it's not my strength, but I, I just love to do it. And I'm doing this video because I love you guys, you know, I want to do some something good for you guys. To help you guys save some money because little maintenance like this you can actually do it yourself you know you don't really have to go to the dealer to do it i mean some big ones i mean this is the thing when you have the p0299 error code uh, don't panic yet it may not be your turbo uh, this car is still under warranty if it's gonna be the turbo replacement job you know that's gonna cost at least two thousand dollar turbo itself costs around one thousand five hundred so yeah that in that case i'm not gonna do a video i'm just gonna take this car to the dealer since this car is still under warranty as you can see uh sorry i just uh, uh, as you can see the turbo diverter valve is now installed i just put the two bottom screw right there all you need to do is uh uh, tighten it using uh, the 316 uh, letter L wrench and just tighten it up and I'm gonna put the last uh, uh, screw back on and plug it back in and I'll teach you how to reset the check engine light using uh, OBD2 basically yeah isn't that easy uh, if you take this to the dealer like I said the part itself is 171 but it's gonna take a lot of labor uh, time to do it probably like two three hours you're looking around like 1,000 1, 2,200 that you know how much the, you know the dealer's gonna charge you around a thousand or thousand two hundred to do this uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to do the mud flap the mud flap is right there if you have if you don't know how to remove the mud flap uh, watch my VW Tiguan uh, uh, oil change video and uh, I, I teach people how to remove the mud flap right there so it's really easy there are a bunch of screws here see that uh, basically okay the location remember this is the oil pan you just have to go back and go up and the turbo diverter valve is just right there and it's an easy it's like a printer cartridge an easy part to remove and install it's very easy just plug and play uh, like I said to remove the this thing you need a small screw right there to push this thing uh, the push that thing down small screw and then you just pull it down and the whole thing will just come off so yeah in my hand is too weak so I have to use a screwdriver to pull this thing down yeah some of you who are stronger probably can just you know push it with your finger but uh, yeah I'm not that strong anyway so anyway I love you guys and I'm gonna uh, what happened is okay this is important thing to know uh, you, some of you who watch my uh, VWT Guan uh, oil change knows this right this is the mantra to what to untighten it to unscrew is what counterclockwise to tighten it clockwise to unscrew it what counterclockwise to screw this thing tight is clockwise remember that it works for anything in VW even the uh, oil filter so to you know to release this counterclockwise to tighten it clockwise so just remember that the rhyme counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise clockwise so yeah so anyway so you guys don't forget that anyway i'm gonna use both hands and I'll let you guys i mean you guys can watch it if you want but i'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together i'm gonna put the 
last screw in the back because it's really hard to see this one you just have to use your feeling you know you can feel the hole in the back so it's not that hard see I already got the hole already so I found it very easily with this one I use like, use it like this to the letter L wrench remember I'm, I'm turning it clockwise 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 yeah don't over tighten it it's you have it has to be tight but don't strip the thread by do, overdoing it so so yep clockwise 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 and then I just want to make sure so I'm tightening the screw the one in the very back right now because I'm using my feeling my right now to feel it whether it's tight or not so I can't see anything but once you screw the the two bottom parts basically the top part is super easy just have to yeah I was yeah it, actually if you own a VWT gun it's a sorry <laughs> it's a very nice card to maintain it's not bad I mean this is like so far the major maintenance I just spent 170 I mean I spent 255 today I, I bought the turbo diverter valve and I bought the uh, what do you call that the um, the rear uh, reverse light okay with the rear reverse light you cannot just buy a light bulb you have to buy the whole assembly and it costs 64 bucks so 64 bucks is not bad so, really really not bad so here we go so, yeah this basically this is it see the turbo diverter valve is installed and the next step to do is to connect this back like that so once all connected it's all done anyway love you guys thank you so much for subscribing to the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button like i said uh just you know plug it in like that yeah let me show you how to do it like that so it's done so please like the video, uh, please subscribe and share the video to your friends who own VW, share it in the VW forum and love you guys, I mean I'm, I love VW, you know, I, this is like a, the best car to own and there are so many things that you can learn to do it yourself and please subscribe because you know it's like a bookmark when you want to see me, I'm gonna be there for you and you can learn new stuff, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to change the spark plugs, how to change the transmission oil. And there are other things that you can learn, you know, from my channel and that can save you guys money and have the uh, Tiguan ownership more pleasurable instead of pain because you, now you know how to maintain it yourself. Anyway, love you guys. Again, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!